<laughs> Got milk? Not anymore. Everything is going just as I planned. Soon the entire world will be without dairy milk. No butter on toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. It's good to see you, Agent Fox. Ah, Monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. <laughs> I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should pick. Tanks, but no tanks. I don't think I can have my cake and eat it too. A bit weighty for me. Hmm. If you thought that was impressive, you should have seen the one that got away. Hmm. So this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. It says, happy hour, 12 to 2. The door's locked. I guess the cantina doesn't serve breakfast. Well, I have to say that's the first time I've ever been grateful I ate the airplane meal. The door's locked. It says, Greek Cantina. Hey, want to see my tattoo? <coughs> Your mother must be so proud. It says, Trinkets. Looks like it's closed. Oh, my God. 
1394. How fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance code. 555 five, five, 1394. Core Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got your number. <laughs> now that's a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square with a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the spy gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good, because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachmas. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. Let me show you how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm, I guess that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. watch is beeping. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox here. Hi, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the Mobile Command button. Will do. Spy Fox, out. Normally, I would karate chop my way right through a door, but this one seems to be made of solid steel. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. <coughs> now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? This must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. The little beasties seem to be slowing down. Hmm, 
fish on ice. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. <laughs> You saved me! Thank you, Mr. Um... Uh, Fox. Spy, Fox. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good! I need to change my pants. <laughs> You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox! All right, just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. I immediately snapped into action. There were dozens of them. I fought them poop and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body is a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese. cheese. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me and then pushed me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid's Secret Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a... like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little blue vine ingenuity in my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none do fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Hi, Fox. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm, sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Ah, oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray gum. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. You know, four out of five dentists prefer X-ray gum for their patients who need X-rays. A duck needs his fiber. What's in this egg-shaped container, Professor Quack? This is a little gadget I call the Spy Putty. What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the spy putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. Here's
Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh, <laughs> Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. His ticker looks like it needs winding. I found the note. I'll be able to disarm that milky weapon of destruction with that key. I just need to find it, then figure out where to place it. Looks like I need to find that key. Here's where I keep my sp Nothing like recycling. Good for the spy business, good for the environment. Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, that's the spy trap. Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemies. Nice, huh? Heads I win, tails they lose. I'm going to lose my appetite if I keep this up. What handsome couplings. Are they gadgets as well, Professor Quack? Those are the suction couplings. I am very proud of them. They are tiny suction cups that allow you to climb across non-porous metal surfaces. The perfect fashion accessory for the well-dressed spa. Mmm, that was a tasty one. Pardon me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? On board? Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. I can gather information about the deck party with this. Hi, honey. Welcome to the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like, for example, sugar, you just let me know, all right? Thanks, Bee. What's with the weasel over by the SS Deadweight? He won't let me go to the deck party. Oh, honey, you won't get in the door without an exclusive invitation. Funny, though. The rabbit out at the souvenir stand always gets invited to those swank parties. Oh, really? I'll remember that. Why don't you give me one order of chicken knuckles to go? It's your funeral, honey.
It says, secret sauce. Do I dare be? You tell me, spy guy. I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one, too. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes. I would love to look at it. I've just decided what I'm going to get my mother for her birthday. I'll take that fish up there. Good. That thing is really beginning to smell. Let me get it down for you. Ah! 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 Oh, forget it. I just remembered... I cannot sell you that particular fish. My Uncle Ian is having it for lunch. There's no telling when I might need one of these hats. You better give me 40 of them. 40? But I only have one left. All right, I'll take one of them. Good. I hope you and your little hat will be happy together. What's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. There you go, sir. Why, thank you. Again? How many times do I have to tell you? This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Sheesh! A nerve of something. You'd think they would. Yay! Let me see that. Signed, Russian Blue. Oh, sir, we are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please, feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank you. How gracious of you. What a weasel. I trust you will have an enjoyable visit. And if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, I trust you will let me know. But of course. So, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William and the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how can we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. Now that's a frog suit. Ideal for any amphibious occasion. A frog suit like this might come in handy, especially considering the worldwide dairy crisis at hand. Pardon me, I'm looking for the restroom. This is the bridge. 
the heads down below. Actually, I need to go pretty bad too. But of course, I'm not allowed to leave my post. The shift's over at two frog ribbits and a cork pop. Then my replacement shows up. Oh, well, hang on tight. I'm sure your relief will come soon. One way or another. I can gather information about the Sailor Watchman on the SS Deadweight with this. What's with that guy on the bridge? Why is he so serious about guarding the SS Deadwood? Darling Fox, maybe you don't understand that I am an international business feline. My deals are not always made, shall we say, in a single location. I see. The SS Deadweight makes clandestine journeys from the island. Very interesting. I never said that, regardless of whether or not it's true. What's with that sailor on the bridge? Why is he so serious about guarding the SS Deadweight? He's a strange lad, all right. He only seems to care about making it to happy hour on time. He makes me nervous. Why is that? I thought he was going to bite my head off once when I tried to look at the maps on the bridge. It's top secret stuff, you know. about this sailor from the SS Deadweight. Oh, that Sal comes in every day straight from work. What time is that? He shows up here 29 minutes after the start of happy hour. Interesting. This seems to be some sort of a high-tech alarm clock. This could be helpful. After all, they say timing is everything. the sailor told me indicates the end of his shift. Didn't you hear the clock? What are you still doing here? I know, I heard it. I could leave now if only my replacement was here. Unless you're the guy. Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I am your replacement. Consider yourself replaced. How can you be my relief if you're not wearing a sailor hat? Right. What was I thinking? Okay, you can go now. Thank you. Out of my way. Coming through. When you gotta go, you gotta go. That's curious. The SS Deadweight made an unscheduled stop out in the middle of the ocean. This particular spot could require some further investigation. Let's see. It looks like the SS Deadweight went to 5 degrees latitude. 180 degrees longitude.
So, Captain, do you think you could take me out for a little boat ride? I'd love to, but there's just one problem. I can't go anywhere without my lucky charm. Your lucky charm? Aye, matey. <laughs> because that there is the sea, the final frontier. And my voyages on the SS Winterprize. On a 25-year mission to seek out new sea life and new civilizations, I boldly went where no raccoon has gone before. But without my lucky charm, it would be way too risky. I can't chance it. I can gather information about Captain Drydock and his lucky charm with this. What do you know about Captain Drydock and his lucky charm? Oh, that was a night to remember. Elaborate, please. Captain Drydock dared to play go fish with Mr. Big Pig. It's ugly when egos get crushed yeah. over a game of go fish. Captain Drydock hasn't shown his face in here since. I see. Drydock lost the charm in a game of go fish. Greetings. Interested in a little game of go fish, Mr. Fox. Spy Fox. I've been known to play Go Fish from time to time. And you are? Artemis J. Big Pig. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. What do you say we make this game a little more interesting? Would you care to play for some trinkets? I just happen to have a whole jar of trinkets. <laughs> Excellent, then. I like a fox who is willing to play for trinkets with a pig who likes to play Go Fish for trinkets. Place your trinkets on the table and we'll get started. What do you know about Captain Drydock and his missing lucky charm? <laughs> Colonel Sap lost it in a particularly tense game of Go Fish. Oh, really? So this is the lucky charm, then? Mm, yes, and I won't give it up easily. And you know that Go Fish is my game. Why don't we really raise the stakes on this game and play for Captain Drydock's lucky charm? Very well, sir, if you insist. Got any queens? Go fish, sir. Got any eights? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any jacks? No, sir. Go fish. Got any twos? Nope. Go fish. Got any sevens? <laughs> go fish. Got any nines? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any threes? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any aces? Go fish. Got any nines? A card. Thank you so much. Got any fours? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any ten? Go fish. Got any queens? No, sir. Go fish. Got any sixes? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any eights? Got any jacks? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any fives? Go fish. Got any sevens? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any sixes? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any tens? Got any threes? <laughs> go fish. Got any nines? Got any kings? Nope. Go fish. 
Got any for? Do fish, sir. Got any ten? Got any aces? Got any king? Go fish. Ah, how delightful. Got any fives? Go fish. Got any eight? No, sir. Go fish. Got any sevens? Ah, yes. Got any twos? Nope. Go fish. Got any nines? I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Got any jacks? <laughs> go fish. I love this game. Eights. And that makes a set, sir. Got any fives? Nice try, but you need to go fish. A match made in heaven, sir. Got any threes? Go fish, Mr. Box. Got any aces? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any fives? Got any fours? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any jacks? <laughs> I hope you are not easily discouraged, sir. Got any sixes? Go fish. Ah, how delightful. Got any twos? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Ah, how delightful. That gives me a soup, sir. Got any kings? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Cat, <laughs> I'm good. Got any threes? Go fish, sir. Got any sixes? Got any... Go fish. Ah, how delightful. I must apologize, sir. I am rather good at this game. <laughs> Got any sixes? Nope. Go fish. Ah, how delightful. <laughs> I hope you are not easily discouraged, sir. I win. Another game? It will only cost you a trinket. is a fun card game. Shall we play again? If you wish to. But I must warn you, sir. This time, I'm not going to hold back. Got any sixes? No, sir. Go fish. Got any queens? Got any kings? Nope. Go fish. Got any aces? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Mm, got any ten? Got any threes? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any fives? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any nines? Go fish. Got any kings? Got any sevens? <laughs> Go fish. Got any twos? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any threes? What a fun game this is. Got any fives? No, sir. Go fish. Got any queens? Nope. Go fish. Got any sixes? <laughs> Go fish. I love this game. Got any fours? 
nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any kings? No fish, sir. Got any jacks? Go fish. Got any fives? Not a one, sir. Go fish. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Got any eights? Nope. Go fish. Ah, how delightful. Got any twos? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any sevens? Go fish, Mr. Fox. That's one set of cards taken care of. Got any nines? Go fish. Got any fives? No, sir. Go fish. Got any fours? Go fish. Got any aces? Got any sevens? <laughs> Go fish. Got any jacks? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any fours? I'll just take those off your hands. Got any sevens? No fish, sir. Hmm, got any tens? Go fish. Got any fives? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any fours? I must apologize, sir. I am rather good at this game. <laughs> Got any eights? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any tens? This suits me just fine. Got any aces? Go fish, Mr. Fox. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Got any sevens? Got any jacks? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any aces? That's one set of cards taken care of. I win! All right, so you won the captain's lucky charm back. Ask yourself, sir. If the charm is so lucky, why did I lose it? Because I'm a superior Go Fish player, that's why. <laughs> Gads, I like you, sir. Whenever you want to play Go Fish again with a Go Fish playing pig, I'm ready and waiting. Captain Drydock, I just had an interesting little game of Go Fish with that Mr. Big Pig at the cantina. And you'll never guess what happened. He cheated and ended up winning your lucky charm. No, actually, he lost and I won this. <laughs> My lucky charm, you found it, yes? Do you know what this means? I can go out on the sea again. The curse is lifted, thank you. Thank you. Charmed, I'm sure. Listen, uh, matey, if you ever need to use the SS Winter Prize, just let me know. I'll take you anywhere you need to go. Can't resist the call of the sea, can you? Even when it calls, collect. Let me grab my map and you can show me where you'd like to go. always wanted to go here. Let's do it. I'll just keep the map here in case we need it later. Interesting. A pool of white water. I've never seen white water like this before. Wait a minute. It's milk. Dairy milk. And none too fresh, I might add. Mm. 
It sounds just like a seashell out here. Now I'm a lean, green swimming machine. Ah, yes, the underwater splendor of the Mediterranean. Aha! That pipe must be where all the milk is coming from. What a terrible waste. I have to put a stop to this. I'm on you. You're trespassing in private waters. You're mine, intruder. Yes, again, Tim Tuna. <laughs> I guess worms have a bit of frogophobia. Oh well, a fishing line like this could come in handy. I can't go now. It looks like the other guard is coming back. Here goes, it's the dreaded Rear Admiral, also known as Spy Maneuver Number 41. Oh. 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 Almost hooked a big one. That fisherman will have quite a fish story to tell. Yes, these worms are definitely frogophobic. I hate to be the bearer of an underwater wedgie, but I've run out of options. Excuse me. Whoa! God! I learned that one at spy camp. Ah, those were the days. Uh-oh, this steel door looks pretty thick. And I already used my laser toothbrush. I'll have to find another way in. A box of old airplane fuses. I'd hate to refuse a find like this. The seat's missing. Maybe the pilot used it as a flotation device. This looks like a missile fire button. Now I can do some damage to that door. Something seems broken, though. Here's the jet's fuse panel, and there are some missing pieces. These spare fuses. This fuse just wants to fit in.
This will teach him for not leaving a key under the welcome mat. I guess that guided missile was misguided. Of course, I planned that. I love a dramatic pause before blowing up giant steel doors leading to secret fortresses. I think I've discovered the entrance to William the Kid's secret fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hello, monkey. What's up? Spy Fox. If I've told you once, I've told you a million times. It's Monkey Penny. Sorry. What do you want? I'm busy saving the world right now. Our informant, Mata Harry, has some important information for you. Where can I find Mata Harry? I'm not sure. All she said is that she's underwater and you'll treasure her disguise. Okay. I'll check it out. Spy Fox out. <laughs> will sink at midnight. It looks like it already sunk to me. That's not the correct code phrase. I know, but it's the truth. Agent Fox, it's good to be working with you again. Mata Harry, what a fortunate surprise. What invaluable information nugget do you have for me? I intercepted this nectar of the goats thing, but I don't know what it is. It looks like it fits into some larger component. Can you use it? Are you kidding? I'll treasure this. Well, I gotta go. Go fishing, Agent Fox. Thanks for always sticking your neck out for me, Mata. You're a gem. <laughs> like the electronic code box plugs into the panel of this voice-activated security system. Welcome to William the Kid's Secret Volcano Fortress. The jeweler was grateful for engaging customers. This is correct. You may now enter the fortress at will. Have an even better day. Thank you. What a polite voice box. I'd better let Monkey Penny know I made it inside Kid's Secret Fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Bye, Fox. I'm glad you checked in. How's it going? Smooth. As smooth as sandpaper underpants. I just got into Kid's Secret Fortress. Excellent. Now you've got to disarm that milky weapon of destruction. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox, out. <laughs> Interesting. This looks like some sort of locker room for kids' evil minions. A yellow jumpsuit. I'll bet this is the official Nectar of the Goats uniform. No one would recognize me in one of these. This Nectar of the Goat's jumpsuit might be just the thing I need to get the jump on William the Kid. Uh-oh, someone's coming. i better hide. So that's the dastardly William the Kid that everyone's so worked up about. Russian Blue, take this key wallet and put it back where it belongs. It contains the disarm key. 
the only thing that can stop my milky weapon of destruction. Right away, your Imperial goat me. I've deposited the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. I need to get my hands on that key he mentioned. <coughs> Maybe I can use these conveyor belts to get up to that platform. <coughs> Ouch! This is going to be more difficult than it looks. This looks exactly like that diagram over in the locker room. Now I need to move these levers to the positions shown in the diagram. must be some sort of tram to take people around in Kid's Fortress. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Oh, hi. I'm from the accounting office. I was asked to count all the offices. I need to get into that room and make sure it's really an office. If you're from the accounting office, you know perfectly well that this is William the Kid's office. No one but the Grand Goathead himself is allowed in there. Oh, right. Of course. How silly of me. That's the office that really counts. Sorry to bother you. I need to get into Kid's office and take a look around. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. There's one sound the ear can hear better than any other. The sound of falling money. They should get a tickle from this nickel. folks. I'm on a mission. You must be one dedicated accountant. Oh, this must be Kid's secret volcano office. I should take a look around. lasers. Let's see. The red laser connects with the red socket and the blue laser connects to the blue socket. I wonder if moving these mirrors will redirect the lasers. The blue laser is still passing over the key. Blue laser is giving me the blues. That did the trick. Now I can grab the key wallet. I 
did it. I got the key. Now all I have to do is find that control panel to the milky weapon of destruction. must be where William the Kid keeps his controls for the milky weapon of destruction. I should let Monkey Penny know I've made it here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, good to hear from you. What's up? I'm in William the Kid's control room. The launching panel for the milky weapon of destruction is right here. Great. Spy Fox out. Now, which key should I use? I hope this is the right key. I've saved the world from a horrible, or in this case, smelly, fate. Now I need to go get that goat. Not so fast, my crafty friend. You may think you have outfoxed me by disarming my milky weapon of destruction. But I'm afraid it's too late to save your precious cows. It's over, Billy. Give yourself up. Don't ever call me Billy. It's William. And it's not over yet, my foxy nemesis. When I pull this lovely lever, the cow's stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that will be the end of the dairy world as we know it. That's the most despicable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Man, this is really rich. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. It's too late. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Fox, I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway blimp where I will implement my plan to take over the world, filling it with my delicious goat byproducts. Delicious? You must be insane. Insane, you say? You're the crazy one, if you think you can save the cows. Adios, Mr. Fox. And good luck finding this secret passageway to the stables. You'll need it. Stupid door. Thanks for leaving a little clue, kid. Now all I have to do is find that ascot. This must be the secret passageway to the stables where Kid is holding the cows. I'd better hurry. This should be easy. Uh-oh. I can't swim past these alligators. They're looking at me like I'm bait.
All right, let's see how the chicken knuckles seasoned with secret sauce affect the gators. Hey, the secret sauce is putting them to sleep. An alligator skin bridge. See you later, alligator. The kidnapped dairy cows. I've found them. Hang on, everyone. My name is Spy Fox, and I'll rescue you shortly. Continue treading milk, and I'll be right there. I hereby declare you free-range cows. The world needs is another escaped goat. Think fast, Fox. This road ends just ahead. Eject me right onto Kid's Blimp. Eh, uh, yeah. Now that was an entrance. I'd better check in with Monkey Penny. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, have you found William the Kid yet? I'm on his escape blimp now. Professor Quack says he can see you on the radar. Spy Fox. You can't let William the Kid get away. But what about the sequel? There are other supervillains out there. We'll be fine. That's true. What should I do when I nab him? We've already set up a mobile evil villain jail. Monkey Penny, do you have the coordinates for the evil villain jail? Yes. The coordinates are 14 degrees south, 16 degrees west. You need to fly the blimp over it. I'll transmit the coordinates to the spy watch in case you need to look at them again. Now I need to maneuver this ghastly blimp to that location. I'll get that dastardly villain. like someone didn't finish their lunch. Well, you never know when you might need a piece of stale rye bread. An electric screwdriver set. This could come in handy. You never know when you might need to drive some screws somewhere. like some sort of conveyance between the front and the back of Kid's blimp. reminds me of my high-flying days in the Spy Air Corps. That looks like the entrance to the front of Kid's overblown blimp. I've got to get over there. I hope this old rust bucket with wings is airworthy.
must be the control room for Kid's diabolical getaway blimp. Now I can begin working on my worldwide dairy domination plan B. Aha! The ejection seat controls must be here. I can finally throw Kid into evil villain jail. That did the trick. Hmm, what an interesting device. It's just like the toaster we have back at Spy Corps Cafeteria. A piece of rye bread might do the trick. I better steer this thing over the evil villain jail before this blimp is toast. A navigation panel. Now I can use the coordinates Monkey Penny sent me via the spy watch to maneuver this dastardly contraption over the evil villain jail. Then I can finally put William the Kid where he belongs. trap is all set. The ejector seat should be just about ready to blow. What's going on? The blimp is changing course. Sorry, kid. I have a little errand I need to run. Hmm? What? Spy fox? I'm really getting tired of your meddling in my dairy domination plans. Yes, well, I do have a tendency to show up and ruin evil villains' schemes. I just thought I'd toast your accomplishment before you go. Go? What do you mean by that? There was only one parachute. Ooh, that looked painful. I guess Kid will be serving up his goat byproducts in evil villain jail from now on. I would have gotten away with my evil plan. If it weren't for that pesky spy fox. Spy fox! Pay for this. I'll be back. No jail can hold William the Kid. <sighs> Later that day. Walter Wireless here with our top story. Spy Fox has saved the dairy starved nations of the world from a near disastrous milk shortage. Today at the Capitol, the president is honoring Spy Fox as the nation's new hero. We now go live to the presidential press room where the ceremony is already in progress. For outstanding heroism and suaveness in the face of utter dairy chaos and for bringing the nefarious William the Kid to justice, I award you, Spy Fox, our nation's highest honor. May I present you with the Big Daddy Congressional Cookie of Justice. Why, thank you, Mr. President. It was a routine mission, really. Three cheers for Spy Fox. I've got my cookie. Has anyone got milk?
gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox. Would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox.